Korea, the heart of esports. Every pro team wants to boot camp here, but they don't know how and they don't know where. What's that? You were thinking about boot camping here in Korea? Well, I have a recommendation, but you're gonna have to come check it out with me. Let's go check out the SBXG esports boot camp. It's right here. Come on. And now we've arrived at the hotel where the players will stay in between practice sessions. The most important thing for players boot camping in Korea is that practice environment. But what's also important is where they'll stay in between training sessions because you've got to make sure you get proper sleep. Let's check it out. Wow, a nice big clean bathroom, a large conference table where you can put your laptop, a pretty big bed, and a very large TV, and the view is pretty nice too. So if I were looking for a place to stay, I think this place would do just fine. But it's not just about the accommodations, it's about where you're going to train. So let's go check out the clubhouse to see the practice facilities up close. Jongro, Seoul's central district is very famous. The combination of old palaces and towering skyscrapers is pretty captivating to behold. There's a lot to do in this area, including great tourist attractions and a lot of amazing food. Besides that, Law Park, where I work, is right over there. But we're already here now at the clubhouse. Let's go inside. This is the XPXG Clubhouse. Operated by SPXG, team that owns and operates Live Sandbox, one of the LCK teams. The first two floors are coffee shops here, but if you go upstairs to third and above, that's where the esports happens. This is where the players will take their meals and where the staff will eat. And every day, you can have a different menu. If you want to see exactly what the menu is, you can check it out on Instagram. It smells good. That's good. No much though. <laughs> oh, it's such a great meal. I'm super full, but I'm also super excited because now we're gonna take a look at the most important part of the clubhouse, the practice area. Most teams that boot camp in Korea either rent an expensive house or a hotel and have to build their own setups. But this clubhouse has three spacious practice areas all built to suit your needs. Also, when you're done practicing, you might wanna have some feedback from your coaches. So the clubhouse has feedback room set up just like this with a large monitor and a sitting area so you can get feedback from your coach just like you would in the team house. What's this? It's got my name on it. Looks like a welcome gift. Let's see what's inside. A guidebook, that should definitely be helpful. A toothbrush and some snacks. Let's take a look. Very pretty duck here. Some yakwa. A live sandbox player figure. That's cool. And portal PC 10 hour coupon. And for the cafe just downstairs, 30% off coupon. And the last thing in here is a lanyard and a key card holder so you won't lose it. And it looks really nice. So if you come to the boot camp, you'll get one of these gift sets as well. But there's more to see here. So let's move to the next spot. It's not just about training your gameplay here at the clubhouse, but it's also about training your mind and your body. That's why I'm coming up here to check out the gym. That's right, the clubhouse has a gym and a trainer. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, that was pretty tough, way harder than I expected. I think you could definitely learn a lot from training here. So I've already shown you guys a lot of the facility here. You've heard a lot from me. But instead of just hearing from me, let's talk to some of the players that are staying here right now. Hey, my name is uh, Budon. I'm Professor Kali. Uh, I go by Body. And why did you choose to boot camp here? Uh, well, first of all, I wanted exposure to like um, to like professional league in general because in Australia it's not that um, well known or it's not that uh, prevalent. And because I'm Korean, I think it was a really easy decision to come to Korea. And because um, Lift Sandbox is a LCK team. It has a high reputation in general in the league scene, so it was easy for me to choose here. So what have you liked the most about staying here so far? Oh, uh, the setup. I mean, I'm literally having my roommate build me one uh, very similar because it's just, it's so comfortable, uh, especially perfect for like 12 plus hours a day. 
And I love uh, grinding solo queue every day. It's very fun, especially on this uh, server where the ping is like a lot lower compared to NA. Thanks, man. Well, that was really great to hear from three players who've stayed here already. All of them really enjoyed the setup, and all three of them have said they've improved since they've stayed here. You too can improve if you come. And I just want to remind everyone, you don't have to come as a team. We have these individual practice sections available for individuals who can come. You can stream from these, you can play from these, you can practice solo queue, everything as you saw there. So, what did you think? Based on my experiences here today, I feel like this is a fantastic place to boot camp in Korea. It's an all-in-one package. You have a place to stay, a place to train, a place to get feedback from your coaching staff, and of course you have a set of staff that will take care of you no matter what you need, even if you have any problems on your trip. Hopefully, I'll see you guys then.